What is the fifth common installation error with heating and air conditioning systems? Uh, drain systems cause a lot of property damage. Uh, certain systems require traps. Uh, certain systems um, don't drain properly. Backed up drains for condensate on air conditioning and even furnaces now. Uh, the condensing high efficient furnaces, they produce as much water in the winter time as the air conditioners do in the summer. So that has to be dealt with. And you simply just can't pipe it outside. Uh, during cold weather that drain can freeze back. So huh. it's got to be protected and properly disposed of. Uh, we find multitudes where it drains into an open crawl space. That leads to a lot of moisture problems within the home. Mold problems. Uh, so how do you, what do you do to fix it so that that's not happening? I mean, if it's common out there and you're doing something different, you're getting that moisture so it's not a problem. What's going on there? It has to be properly piped into into a uh, storm uh, a storm drain uh, into open receptacles to go through the uh, the uh, wastewater system. And a lot of companies properly. are not doing that. Uh, yes. Yes. A lot, a lot of them just drain open into the crawl space. It's actually a, a code violation at this point in time, but not everything gets inspected, mm -hmm. so it's hard for everybody to keep up with. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, even even the ones that are that are installed to code may have issues in that uh, even secondary drain systems, which are meant to contain a leak in an emergency situation. Uh, are installed in such a way that you don't know what's going on. So by the time you actually find out there's a problem, it's even worse damage than what could have been taken care of if it just properly installed in the beginning. Okay, walk me through this. You said that the amount of moisture that, you, that the equipment is extracting from an air conditioner in the summer is maybe as much as what it would be for a heater in the winter. I think you said something like that? Yes, with the, with the current 90 and 95 percent furnaces, we remove enough heat of the vent gases going up the chimney that the moisture actually condenses out of that. And that's one of the biggest byproducts of combustion okay. is condensate, is moisture, is water vapor. Okay. That water vapor has to be dealt with. Okay. And it ha you can't just run it outside because then you can have freezing damage. Okay. And it will freeze back to the, within the structure and all of a sudden you have no heat. So that and you don't want it up in your attic no, in, a, in a pan because then it gets the attic humid, right? Well, it, it wouldn't get the attic humid as much as that you could have freeze damage. When uh, water freezes, it expands, and it causes physical damage. Okay. Uh, so it has to be protected and properly installed so that it drains away properly. Well, then this, this moisture that you're getting rid of is, is sometimes where the installation is not done right. It's staying in the house which causes mold problems, or what's causing the mold problems that you're talking about? Um, that, that is collateral damage Okay. Uh, from leaks okay. not being determined or a drain that's not properly installed um, is, where the, is where the moisture... So it's not a matter of humidity, it's a matter of leak, like water running down the walls or doing something like that. Right. The biggest, the biggest, the biggest mold issue would come from drains that just drain into crawl spaces. That happens quite a lot. It was done when air conditioning first came out. They would just drag a small pit in a crawl space and let under the drain, their house under the house and let the condensate drain into that pit and leach through the ground. Okay. Well, that becomes standing water underneath the house when you're trying to cool it in the summertime, and it's perfect. And that would create humidity to go up into the house. Humidity up into the house increased the cooling load, but it also, uh -huh. a constant source of water creates mold issues. In the house. Right. Which causes health issues, and, and it can damage the house? Yeah, it can damage the house and health. Wow. And, and okay, and, yeah, so if a guy really doesn't know what he's doing, and he's a low-cost installer, he, he doesn't understand all that. He wants to get out. A lot of systems... In a crawl space is the common, um, not to harp on the same one, but I've seen a lot of systems being installed in, in a crawl space that would not even have a drain system. It's just the coil is draining out of the opening straight and not even have a piece of pipe to, to guide it away anywhere. It just drains. Yeah. 
runs out. 